Hi, John T., the Omni Outliner Pro, and uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, usually we use Omni Outliner and Omni Outliner Professional to work with uh, business applications, but uh, today what I thought we'd do is a create a family tree using Omni Outliner Pro, Omni Outliner. And um, the reason I thought this is because for years I've been working with Omni Outliner and I've been thinking, you know, working in the environment of parent and child relationship as far as they're concerned in with, t with topic, subtopic and whatnot. And uh, a couple of weeks ago I thought, well, you know, why not try to show what that might look like in real life and have a real life application. And that would be the most obvious is a family tree. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to show you the barest of outlines and get you started if you're interested in creating a family tree. If you're not, maybe, you know, you're you're obviously probably more brighter than I am and and will find ways to extend even this this use into the business world. So let's get started with Omni Outliner in creating our family tree. Let's just pull that up there. So if you've been watching my videos for a while or if you've visited my site, um, you'll know that I like to start every session with an Omni Outliner with some sort of brainstorming session or um, a data dump. And I do this for two reasons. First of all, I want to make sure that everything in my mind gets out there. And, uh, and the best way to do it is, is through this brainstorming or, or or data dumping exercise um, and of course using Omni Outliner it's a great way it's a great tool because you just quickly boom 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 list all the things that that you've got in your head and, and in your environment in that list that initial list so these are would this is this list here is for a fictional family the Jones family um, and presumably this is as far as they've gotten so the next step would be to start the the root unit which in this case is Sam and Mary Jones now there are a couple of ways to start a family tree this one here is is more of a hobbyist way of saying okay well this is my family and I just want to trace its roots as far back as I can the other way to do it is is I guess more of a scientific way where you're looking at generation after generation so in, in the f as the ultimate parent uh, topic you would not have just Sam and Mary Jones but you would also have their siblings as well and then trace back generation by generation so that's another way of looking at it well we're going to do the more simple way because um, you know I'm not a genealogist or an anthropologist although I do and I've actually never played one on TV so here we're going to go from here we're going to drag and drop into um, the appropriate topics items from the brainstorming session. So Dave Jones, and if you, obviously if this is, you're doing this for your own family, you know the relationships, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping, you don't even have to like associate. So here you've got David Jones as senior, and you've got David Jones, and let's assume that that's the son of Dave Jones senior, we just select that and we indent it, and we just create uh, topics and subtopics through the drag and drop exercise. I'm just going to show you what we'll wind up with after that. You'll have subtopics under both the, um, the, the parent topics. So Sam Jones will have family units under him, as would Mary Jones, and obviously their names would be different as they go further down the line. And each of those units would have units within it just take a look at Dave Jones here it turns out Dave Jones senior was the dad okay um, so you just keep dropping it down and down and you'll see that it can get a little complex and what I've done is to color code the heads of the families so that just by looking at it you'll know okay well the green they're the heads of the families they actually have family units that they've established and continue the family tree beyond that. Okay, so this is fairly basic in terms of a family tree. This is just sort of a listing. So you can see that Mary Jones, her father may have been uh, 
Martin Tyler, her mom would, would have been Jane Tyler, and Jane's mom and dad would have been Jennifer and Steve Cooper. Um, Mar uh, Gregory's mom and dad would have been Arnold and Donna Tyler. So you just continually enter um, mothers and fathers. So with Arnold Tyler, let's say his father was Norman Tyler and his mom was Abigail Simpson. Whoops. Got ahead of myself there. Abigail Tyler and she would have been born a Simpson, say. And of course they would have had other kids. Uh, other siblings, sorry. Okay, so that's how you would have done it. Now, you could stop there, or continue in that method, and after you've gotten as far as you can go, what you would do is introduce columns. So, the most typical columns for this type of thing are birthday, place of birth, place of death, a uh, date of death rather. Um, with Omni Outliner, you can also incorporate pictures of these folks so that it becomes a little more lifelike. And you can put in attached documents as well, as we all know. So you, if you had like a, a marriage certificate, a birth certificate, you could scan that in and you can drag and uh, bring that into Omni Outliner as part of the official record of your family. Um, as time goes on, you'll probably have videos that you could would also want to preserve and put in there. Um, other things that people would, would put in in terms of, thing, of, of columns might be um, place of death, the cemeteries. Um, I've, I've been doing a little bit of research before I, I did this. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that people will do is they will do a tour of their family and that would take in where their ancestors were buried. So that's one way to to, um, to use this as, as maybe a, a sort of a, a tour with your your younger children and, and just show them you know the history and the of, of where their family comes from. Now after you've collected all that information, let's just close this off. You're going to have to you're, you're, it's going to be a lot for one thing. So you're going to want to organize it somehow. And what I've done is I've used the utilities tray. And I've just formatted each of the rows to have a specific color. So all level 3 rows will be green. Level 4, four rows will be purple. Uh, level 2 rows are, are yellow. So immediately you'll see, okay, second generation, bef the preceding generation rather, is yellow. The generation before that would be green. The generation before that would be purple. That sort of like keeps it all in line um, visually for, for you. So that's pretty much how... I've done it. Um, you may have your own ideas, but uh, if you're interested at all in um, genealogy, you might want to give Omni Outliner a try to do that. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying Omni Outliner simply because you want to track your family tree. There are other applications out there, but you would, if you've got Omni Outliner, or if you don't want, if you want a, an application that will do more than just simply uh, track your family tree, then Omni Outliner for sure is the one I would choose. Thanks for watching. It's John T., the Omni Outliner Pro. Bye.